This segment will help you get familiar with the components of the CE7000 cutter. This will help you identify them as they are used throughout the CE7000 training video segments. Let's start at the front. Here on the left side of the unit is the power switch. Just above and in the middle is a long slot in which the media travels back and forth. On the upper side of that media slot are the push rollers. While the CE7040 and the CE7060 have only two push rollers, the CE7130 has four push rollers. The purpose of the push rollers is to push down on the vinyl material against the grit rollers underneath. It's the grit rollers that drive the material back and forth, whereas the push rollers hold the material against the grit rollers to drive the media back and forth. Thus, when positioning push rollers, they have to be positioned directly over a grit roller. On the top right hand side is the control panel. This is where we can control the different functions of the cutter. Just to the back of the control panel is a convenient tool holder that can be used to hold blades, blade holders, loop, and other tools. Just to the right of the control panel is the handle or latch that, when brought down, will lift the push rollers, allowing the media to be loaded. Or, when brought up, will bring down the push rollers onto the media, locking the media in place. At the back side of the cutter is where the media stock rollers are located. This is where your media roll you plan to cut is placed. On the side of the stock roller bracket is the media brake. When engaged, it prevents the roll from moving forward. As a note, optional baskets can be purchased from Graftech and can be installed on the front and back of the unit. These are the components of the CE7000. Let's continue on and become familiar with navigating the control panel. 